Hey guys, um, this is Survivalist31 here. I am going to make a new video for you guys about my new Leatherman, which is inside of the box there. Um, it is probably two or three months old now. Um, I got it for my birthday. But uh, just quickly before we start the video, um, I got a new converter software for my uh, camera. So I'm going to play around with um, editing an intro and some stuff like that. And also in the top... Um, left hand corner of your screen should be the uh, logo for my editor software um, if that does get like to be a problem or if you guys seem to be bothered by that I can uh, just um, not edit my videos and post them up raw um, but yeah it'll be all good uh, about what you guys want so anyway let's get started in this box is my Leatherman Core it is um, like I said about two three months old I bought it from Walmart uh, it's a birthday gift there you go it was um, 6420 out of uh, a very large bill um, inside the box is the Leatherman uh, user's guide it's got the warranty for the tool um, all the information about their 25 year warranty it has their uh, description of the bit driver kit and of the tools on the multi-tool. I have the one with the leather sheath because that's what they had. Um, it's okay. It looks fairly durable. Uh, definitely good quality as most of Leatherman stuff seems to be. Uh, there's two rivets back at the bottom and two rivets at the top holding the, the uh, piece together. The only problem is when you put your uh, core back into the sheath, um, sometimes these little uh, screws will catch on the um, little brass rivets at the bottom so you have to put it in and then you have to kind of wiggle it around to get it in there to snap closed but let's get to the tool um, Leatherman says there are 19 tools on here uh, they have like two or three wire cutters um, there's a set one there's one right there there's one right there and there's a set of hard wire cutters but uh, yeah it's made out of 420 stainless, uh, is what Leatherman says on their website, and it features a set of their needle nose pliers. There is the um, little uh, checkering that goes all the way up to the top of the pliers. Uh, right there you have the grips for your bolt, your wire cutters. There's a set of wire cutters right there. Fine little hole one right there. There's also one down there. You can see that where, where the arrow is at. Um, but yeah, it has all locking tools on the inside of the handles. And uh, it has on one side a ruler in inches, and on the other side a ruler in centimeters on the handles of the Leatherman. That's a cool feature. Um, not sure if I'd use it because it is a little bit weird using it, but it is definitely an interesting thing to have. We'll go ahead and start with the right side of the handle right where it says core. Uh, it has a sheep's foot fully serrated blade that is S um, or that is 420 stainless steel. I think the blade is two and a half to three inches long. Um, it's definitely a very big blade. It's a very sharp blade. Um, came fairly good out of the factory. It cuts really well. All the tools are locked back and there's just a little spring back here that you push to release it like that. But yeah, there's the um, sheep's foot, uh, full serrated. There's the can opener. Uh, not much to say about the can opener. It's a can opener. I am wondering though, this little, uh, triangle bit right here, this little triangle that's cut out of here, if any of you guys know what it is, like if it serves a purpose specially or anything, um, can you guys please go ahead and tell me? Uh, thanks. But yeah, just a can opener. Uh, fold that back into the handle right there. Sorry, uh, having a little trouble. Uh, maneuvering around the tripod to get this to uh, open. A um, Phillips head screwdriver. It's got a very long shaft. I think it's about three inches long. Uh, Multitool.org did a comparison video using the shaft of the adjustable bit driver on the um, Leatherman Wave to the one on the core, as well as um, the driver bit, I think, on the Flick Ger by Gerber. And this one came out to be the best um, Phillips head because it had the most leverage. 
due to its really long shaft. Um, next to the Phillips head is a small flathead. Uh, not much to say. It's a decent flathead. It's actually really sharp. Um, I've actually cut myself using the, the uh, flathead. But yeah, just a basic flathead. Over here is the um, saw. It's about three inches long. It works really well. Um, it's a good size. It's got teeth going both forwards and backwards. So with every pull and with every push forward and pull backwards, not sure what the technical term is that, but it will um, take wood out. That's a great thing to have. It's cut the same way as the saws on a um, sack would be or a Swiss Army knife, which is good. On the other side is a drop point. Um, I think drop point. I believe. Not sure what the profile is. Uh, about a three, two and a half to three inch long uh, blade, non serrated, 420 stainless. Uh, good. It's got a good edge on it. Um, came well out of the factory. I've used it a little bit. I've cut myself with it. Um, right there. It started to heal up. It was uh, about a week or two ago. But yeah, it's a good knife. Uh, I've opted to not carry my op now because I am carrying that knife. Now is this uh, ridiculously large. Um, flathead screwdriver that makes no sense to me. It's fairly sharp as well. I think it's a little excessive, but um, it's okay. There is a slightly bigger and than the uh, flathead on the other side, and slightly smaller than the big chunky one I just pulled out. Flathead right there. Um, it's a flathead, not much to say. But uh, right next to the flathead is an awl. It's got a little um, edge along there. It's not very sharp, but it'll serve its purpose, you know, punching leather or whatever. There's also an eye in the awl right there. Uh, it's good because they have these little nail nicks, but the nail nicks are actually uh, these little waves that kind of pop up, so it makes it really easy to get to. The final tool inside the handle is a file right next to the lanyard ring. Lanyard ring doesn't really serve a purpose. It's okay if you want to use a lanyard in your pocket. Not the best in the world. It doesn't lock back. Right here we have the wood metal file. That's a good file. I used it on some plastic and it worked fairly well. There's still a little bit caught also in my diamond file right there as you can see. There's some plastic caught up in there that I've been trying to get out. Um, if you guys have any tips on how to get that out of there, uh, please do share them. But the file works great. It's a good quality Leatherman file. You can actually use these to sharpen knives um, in some of the videos I've seen. Uh, it's been done. But yeah, overall, this is a great multi-tool for the money. It was, about, like I said, about $64.95, I think. Um, good to buy. All the pluses. Only thing I don't like is that the sheath catches sometimes and uh, that it's got the little plastic um, liners on the inside. But other than that, it's great. It is actually a um, the big brother to the Leatherman Super Tool 2000, which is a good tool as well. I don't own one, but... Um, I would definitely recommend the core to anybody who's going to be buying, whether it be your first multi-tool or your last. It is a great tool. I don't have the exact weight with me, but it probably weighs something like 7 ounces, maybe a little more. Uh, it's definitely worth carrying the weight because it is beefy. It will not break on you. It's got more tools than the Wave does. And, uh, yeah, I give it two thumbs up. It's got my seal of approval. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Survivalist31 out.